yes okay students today we will study about types of relation then first type of relation is empty relation what do you mean by empty relation a relation r in such a type that no element of a is related with another with any element of a then that type of relation is known as empty relation we can understand it by example let there is a boys school and in this boys school relation is defined as r is equals to a is related to b such that a is sister of b we can clearly see that if a is sister of b it means there is a is a girl and we are taking the example of boys school there is no girl in boys school so we can say that in this school the the relation is defined a is sister of b is not possible means no element of set a is related to another element of set a then this type of set is known as empty relation where there is no relation second universal relation universal relation we can define that all elements of set a are related with elements of set b means no element remains back we can take an example of again a school is there and relation r is given by a is related to b such that difference between height of a and b is 1 meter now we can clearly see from here that 1 meter is a large distance so when we whenever we take two students of any school and we measure their heights and take the difference of that height we will always find that their height is not more than 1 meter anywhere means uh, let us take a, a minimum height of any student will be uh, one uh, we, we can say that near about 2 or 3 3 feet at least this will be and maximum height we will find out 6 7 or 8 feet and even then if we differentiate these two if we will find out difference from these two we see that the, that height is not more than 1 meter so we can say that every element of set a is related to every element of set a then that type of relation is known as universal relation now most of uh, most important relation in this topic is equivalence relation now what is equivalence relation any relation any relation is said to be equivalence relation if it is reflexive symmetric and transitive means for a equivalence relation the conditions are it must be reflexive symmetric and transitive now we will study about the these three types of relations reflexive symmetric and transitive first of all we will take reflexive relation what do you mean by reflexive relation all elements of set a possess the same property or they apply the same property which is given in the question on themselves also then that type of relation is known as equivalence relation and we write down for all a belongs to set a a a belongs to r means all elements of set a which we have denoted by this small a those elements are related with itself also whatever relation given in the question all elements of set a are related to itself if it is like this that all elements are related to itself then we can say that that relation is a reflexive relation we can take an example that the relation is between two lines line 1 and line 2 and what is the relation line 1 is parallel to line 2 then we can say that every line is parallel to itself also l1 is parallel to l1 itself also means the same property the same reflex uh, relation is applicable on the every element then that type of relation is known as reflexive relation so if this type of relation is given we can say that l1 is parallel to l1 then it is reflexive relation if 
let us think that relation is given line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 then can we say that line 1 is perpendicular to itself also no it is not possible how a line can be perpendicular to itself so this will not come under the reflexive relation the second type of relation is symmetric relation in symmetric relation we can say that for all elements a b which are in set a if a is related to b by any uh, by any condition we can say then it means that b is also related to a by the same relation means a is related to b it means b is also related to a if it follow this this type of property then this we can say that it is symmetric relation otherwise it is not symmetric relation let us take the same example if line 1 is parallel to line 2 then we can say that line 2 is also parallel to line 1 and vice versa we can say that like this so l1 is parallel to l2 then we can also say that l2 is parallel to l1 then this is this type of relation is it? symmetric relation what about this perpendicularity theorem let us see if line 1 is perpendicular on line 2 then we can say that line 2 is also perpendicular on line 1 it means l2 is also perpendicular on l1 so it will follow the property and it therefore this type of relation is known as symmetric relation so in transitive relation, third one is transitive relation. We can say that for all A, B and C belongs to set A. A, B is in relation means A is related to B. B is related to C implies A is also related to C means uh, there are three elements a b and c a is related to the b b is related to c then it follows if a is also related to c then it can be said that it is a transitive relation otherwise not we can take the same example if line 1 is parallel to line 2 line 2 is parallel to line 3 then we can say that line 1 is parallel to line 3 therefore this type of relation is known as transitive relation let us take this perpendicularity example if line 1 is perpendicular on line 2 and line 2 is perpendicular on line 3 can it be possible that line 1 is perpendicular to line 3 no it is not possible because if line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 and line 2 is perpendicular to line 3 then l1 and l3 will be parallel lines not perpendicular lines then L1 is not perpendicular on L3. Therefore, this relation is not a transitive relation. So, if any relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, then that relation is known as equivalence relation. Yes, students, now we will study about the types of function. Functions are mainly of two types. First one is 1-1 one, one function or we can say injective function. Second is on to function or we can say surjective function. And both these functions are known as bijective functions or bijective functions you can say. A function which is 1-1 one, one as well as on to is known as bijective function. Okay, now we will define what do we mean by 1-1 one, one function and on to function. First 1-1 one, one function. Yes, 1-1. One, one. In 1-1 one, one function, we can say that a function is said to be 1-1 one, one function. Means a function is defined from x to y. A function is defined from x to y. Here, there, this is the domain, this is codomain, elements of domain are related to elements of codomain. So, any function is said to be 1-1 one, one function if all elements of domain have distinct images in its codomain. Means, all elements of domain, all elements of this set X 
are related to its codomain means are related to all elements of y and all elements of x has distinct means different means not same images there are the, every element have separate separate images means all elements of x has distinct images in y then this function is known as one one function and we write down that for x1 x2 belongs to x means this x1 and x2 these are the elements of set x we can say that fx1 is equals to fx2 implies x1 is equals to x2 means if we put the value x1 in function 1 in the given function and x2 then and we equate these two we will put like this in the we, at last we get x1 is equals to x2 then this type of function is known as 1 1 function a 1 1 function any function which is not 1 1 is known as many 1 function a function which is not 1 1 is known as many 1 function now we will take an example let uh, the example is a function is defined from real numbers to real number it means there are real numbers in its domain and real numbers in its codomain so and a fun the function is defined as fx is equals to x square now we can clearly so see from here that in real numbers we are having positive and negative all type of numbers so if we put f1 we get 1 square 1 and if we put f minus 1 we get minus 1 square and the answer is again 1 means 1 and minus 1 both 1 and minus 1 have same in images 1 they are not having the distinct images therefore this type of function is known as not 1 1 function if we got different different images then that type of function is known as 1 1 function so therefore it is not 1 1 we can take another example let a function f is defined from natural numbers to natural number and function is same fx is equals to x square now this time we can say that if we put any natural number at the place of x if we put 1 we get the answer 1 square 1 if we put 2 we get the answer 2 square 4 if we put 3 we get 3 square 9 if we put 4 then we get 4 square 16 5 5 square 25 such that whenever we are putting the distinct elements we get the distinct images every time therefore this function is known as 1 1 function and we write down for f x 1 it is x 1 square and for f x 2 it is x 2 square then equating these two means putting f x 1 is equals to f x 2 we get x 1 is equal x 1 square is equals to x 2 square implies x 1 is equals to x 2 therefore it is 1 1 function it is a 1 1 function now we will define what do you mean by onto function let us see what do you mean by onto function if every element of codomain means all elements of codomain have pre images in its domain then that type of function is known as onto function uh, let us uh, let me explain to you more about this thing it means that every element of codomain is related to some element or some or any element of domain means no element of codomain is remaining behind blank means we can say that if we put any value in x then that will result in y also means all elements of y are related to elements of x no element remains black blank or uh, the images pre images means every element of y has pre image in its uh, domain no element remains blank then that type of function is known as onto functions means every element of codomain has pre image in its 
domain. That type of function is known as onto function. Let us take an example. Function is defined as fx is equals to x and function is defined from natural numbers to natural number. It means whenever we put any value, if we put 1, we will get the answer 1. If we put 2, we will get the answer 2. Means all elements of codomain are related to elements of a do domain. Means every element of codomain has pre-image in its domain. Then this type of function is known as a onto function. Otherwise, this function will not be onto. Let us take another example. A function is defined from real numbers to real number and fx. How it is defined? fx is equals to x square. Now we, we can clearly see from here x square if we put y is equals to x square then value of x is root y. If we take any value of y here, if we take 2, if we take or we can say that a negative numbers, let us take any negative number root minus 2, root minus 3, root minus 2.5 these elements have no pre-image means these are not answers of any element if we put any element here in at, at the place of x square we don't ever get these answers but in real numbers minus 2 minus 3 minus 2.5 these are present in the real numbers so we can uh, utilize them but these numbers have no pre-image or we can say that no negative number has pre-image in its domain. Therefore, this type of function is not onto function. So a function which is 1-1 as well as onto is known as a bijective function.